What's up guys, it's Cabroni, and I'm doing another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle on Pokemon Showdown. This match is against Dat Proof, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Anyway, I'm using the Hail team that I've been using in a couple... That I've, you know, I've, just, I've made this team and I seem to use it a lot on Showdown because I've gotten used to it. So this guy um, is using some Pokemon that I thought were pretty threatening to my team. He has Heatran. Heatran can actually be a huge threat to my team depending in, depending on the health of my own Heatran and whether it is um, Life Orbed or Air Balloon. If it's Life Orbed, it's a big threat. Conkildur, of course, it, you know, its base stab or, or its fighting type its stab moves are super effective against I want to say three of my Pokemon? Yeah, three. Because Frostlass is obviously a ghost type, so it is immune to it, and Salamence is a huge threat because of the Moxie Boost. The Choice Band or Choice Scarf Moxie Boost Outrage Salamence is a monster. It's just it's very good. So let's get into it. I'm going to lead off with Obama Snow, my Yeti. <laughs> And he's going to lead out with the, his Jirachi. I'm going to go for the Protect because it's just to scout out what he's going to do. Um, seeing that I want to immune, um, immune that Body Slam, I got into my Frostlass. But he ends up going for the Fire Punch, I guess, wanting to take out my Abomas now. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I just Destiny Bond, just a one for one, the Jirachi. I send out um, Abomas now again. He goes out to Ferrothorn. So I just switch out right into Fire King. I'm sorry, Fire King. Yeah, Heatran. Threaten him out with a fire move. He goes out into his own Heatran. I predict this by going for the Stealth Rocks. And now that I see I have no Air Balloon, I'm going to go for the Earth Power just because it's a threat. You don't want him in there. And he goes for his Rocks. Or he had his Rocks up, so he roars me out, trying to wither me down. Good thing I go into Jirachi because he really can't do anything. I just go for the Wish just to see what he wants to do because I can get my health back and I U-turn out because Trachi doesn't want to be in there so seeing what um, he wants to do I'm going to go back into Heatran to get full health again and he's going to protect and I'm just going to go for the earth, earth power he does go out into Salamence right here but I don't make any prediction just playing it safe right now going for the earth powers because I would really like Heatran to not be there he goes for the Aqua Tail, which is a really weird move. Um, I would have—I guess he doesn't have Earthquake, but whatever. Well, actually, I'm sure he did have Earthquake. That's why he went for the Aqua Tail. I see. I understand now. <laughs> but anyway, he just kind of protects stalling. It doesn't really matter. He's just, you know wasting turns. He tries to get the next protect by end up um, out speeding him because, or I, he protects and it fails now. But I would have outsped him because I do have a little bit of speed investment. So he's just gonna aqua tail and just kill me. I don't. So this makes me question if he does have earthquake. Um, interesting. But I want to get Salmon's down to a, a spot where it's a sure kill with um, Obama Snow's Ice Shard, and Ferrothorn is being um, a little little pain in the butt right now. Now at this this point in time right now, I'm thinking you know Kyurem can do a lot of damage to Ferrothorn, but um, I've been going back and looking and seeing maybe if I went to Conkeldur and started um, bulking up so I could take out all those Pokemon, but seeing now that that probably wasn't a good idea, and I think I made the right decision at the time going into Kyurem and just taking out his Ferrothorn with Blizzards, but I guess it was the right move to make. Um, if you're in the fighting type move, I switch out into um, Yeti just to kind of fodder him off. He goes for the Drain Punch and easily takes me out. That's overkill by far. Now I'm going to go into Jirachi, I believe. I'm sorry, I go back into Kyurem. And this is a point where I forgot um, about Mach Punch. I was like, oh shit, I think I may, I may have lost. But um, Jirachi is able to wither him down to a point where... Um, he is going to die. Um, body same right here may or may not have been a good move, but I do end up getting the crit because I was kind of fishing for the paralyzed, but I don't get it. But I'll sure take the crit instead because it does kind of 
put him at a bad point of HP. So he goes for the mock punch, and I live with one. That was defense investment is so helpful. So I go for the iron head, just the stab, and the hail ends up taking me down. So it's getting a bad time. So I go into my Mr. Wand to clean things up. He goes into his Gastrodon, and it's just kind of one of those points where Gastrodon, there's no way in hell it could take me out unless it got a crit and it was like modest nature with 252 EVs and special attack, which not many are. So I just go for the drain punch to get my health back. I do bulk up just because it's in this, you know, it's just one of the situations where the skull burn is just going to help me take them out even quicker. So I just go for the drain punch again, just go for the win. Um, I thought it was a pretty, pretty good match. It's a quick one. It is a quick one, but I thought it was kind of pretty, pretty good detailed and it was worth sharing. So yeah, guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about it, what I can do to do next time, what are some Pokemon you would like to see me use in an OUUU type match. I would love to do something like that. So yeah, just um, rate, comment, subscribe again. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.